damn it, boy. I'm AKA Bands and this is Support This TV. And Suge Knight was released from jail today so he can go to USC Medical Center in Cali, you know, so he can um, get checked out for blood clots, a condition that he's been battling for years. You know, some say he's faking it right now so he can get out of um, solitary confinement, you know, something that he's been in since 2015 when, you know, he got charged for the hit and run that, you know, um, he's fighting right now. He said it was self-defense. You know, judging by the video, it looked like it was self-defense to me, but I don't know. I'm not a prosecutor. But, you know, he's in USC for blood clots. And for y'all out there who don't know what blood clots is, blood clots is like a gelatin form of the blood. And it clots means it stops. And if you have an injury and you get a blood clot, you're good. Because it means you're not bleeding anymore. But if you get blood clots in other parts of your body and you're not having an injury or anything like that, it could be a bad thing. You end up fucked up. You can be end up in bad shape. So they taking precautions and taking him from jail to a USC medical center so they can check him out. Now, some of y'all out there probably don't give a damn about what Shug Knight go through. And I know some of y'all out there do. Shug Knight still got a lot of love out there. I'm covering the story because I still got a lot of love for Shug Knight. And for y'all guys out there, that love the rappers like Young Dolph and Yo Gotti and Rockefeller, you know, with Jay-Z and them and Master P with No Limit and them and um, Cash Money and them. If it wasn't for sure Knight and him having them death row chains, none of them guys would have never done it. He started that. He was the first record label where every artist had a death row chain around their neck. After he did it, everybody did it. Rap a lot did it. No Limit did it. Cash Money did it. Everybody did it. Rough Riders did it. You know what I'm saying? Any guy that is claiming they blood, Paru, thank this man. He didn't start blood or Paru, no. But he put it on the map. He put it on the map. A lot of people didn't hear about blood or Paru if he wasn't from the West Coast. If he was on the West Coast, of course you heard of it. But a lot of people did not hear about it until Shug Knight was all in the news and they was trying to paint him out to be this evil person. Him rocking all the red and stuff. Another thing y'all need to thank Shug Knight for too, for helping gangster music reach the plateau that it reached. If it wasn't for Death Row, gangster music would have never been accepted and never pushed past the masses the way they feel like it was going to push. You know, when it was NWA, they kept having all these drawbacks. In the early 90s, they were doing all this fighting trying to stop it. But Death Row may put it in people's face and let you know, hey, it's here to stay. So, like I said, Shug Knight got a lot of faults, but the man who did a lot of good for the game. And me, a.k.a. Benz, I hope the man is okay. I hope if he do pass, he don't pass this way, you know. And um, that's hope he's all right, you know. But, you know, like I said, he was in con con solitary confinement. And he's been in there since 2015 over the hit and run that he's fighting as self-defense. And we see how this thing play out. But I'm a.k.a. Benz. Let's still support this TV. Make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe. You know, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I appreciate the love. Thanks. Peace.